Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Now, as you know, uh, my previous videos have been uh, based on buying the bike and living with the bike. Um, and then I've sort of like gone into detail about the engine, the handling, the comfort and such like. So today I'm going to talk about the, uh, the gearbox. Well, until somebody mentioned it in the comments, I haven't thought too much about the gearbox. Um, and I think that's probably a good thing. That means it's working nicely and it's, uh, it's not causing me to be concerned about it. But to be fair, you know, um, the previous bikes I've had, Generation 1 Phase of Thou, um, 30,000 miles on it. I, I did on it, sorry. The ZX9 <coughs> C1, I did about 26,000 miles on that. Um, and the Honda 5 Storm before that, even I think I did 20,000. I didn't give a, a thought to the gearboxes, they all seemed very well. Um, and so is the Honda. So I'll try and put a little bit of meat on the bones about the Honda's gearbox then. So in everyday use it's fine. Um, it snicks into gear quite easily. I can use just a whiff of clutch with no problem. I've even used clutchless shifting just because I just to practice it really. I know a lot of people don't agree with it but it works really well on it. Um, and as I say I don't really think too much uh, about the gearbox in, in daily use. The neutral you can find relatively easily. I mean, you do get a little bit of um, one to two now and then, but compared to some bikes I've ridden, I think it's 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 above average. Um, I mean, particularly some of the my neighbour was the Indian there. Um, he had a Panigale, and my God, that he had to switch it off to find neutral in that. But the Honda, a few flicks up and down, some downs, but generally quite easy to find. I've stopped covering up that number plate, as you can see, uh, it might get cloned, but I don't know. Um, seems a bit over the top covering up all the time. Um, okay, what about into first? Yeah, I mean, most bikes clunk into first, and I thought with a shaft drive I wouldn't get that. But it does clunk into first. It does sound a bit like pushing a tool, a toolbox off a bench. But I think it's only when it's cold, so I'm going to do a quick experiment. I've warmed the bike up a little bit. I'm going to give it a go and see if it's any better when it's warm. Okay, so engine on. Oh, just by the way, it's about gears and things. See that flashy dash there? I'm in neutral, but um, that comes up when you've forgot to put the kill switch back off and that uh, then goes off. Okay, let's start it up. And let's try and find out what she sounds like warm. Um, it's I've lost a little bit of temperature, but the bike is quite warm. Clutch in, into first. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, it's still quite clunky in first when it's warm. Well, I don't know. It must be just because I have my uh, my earplugs in my helmet on when it's uh, when it's warm. <laughs> okay, so still a bit clunky. <laughs> Be going into first, okay. Um, but generally, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with the gearbox. And if you, if you, if it's one of your requirements to have a smooth gearbox on a motorcycle, and you're thinking of the VFR, I, I don't think you'll be, uh, you'll go far wrong. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, so I'd like to finish um, just a bit on the gear ratios. Uh, just a bit of information that might help the, uh, the nerdy types among us. Bear with me. Yeah, that's just the oil I use, just in case anybody's interested. It's under oil, under oil 1030. It's what's uh, recommended. It's a bit dearer than, than other stuff. But I think that was only £40 from uh, one of the major distributors with a, with a filter. So not too bad. Anyway, these gear ratios. So what I've done, I've done a chart there of the gear ratios um, on the GBS. So on the sat-nav, okay. Um, what I've got is uh, first gear, 6 miles per hour per thousand. 10 kilometers so kilometers in brackets now these are rounded up or down you know they're not perfect second gear 9 miles per hour 14 kilometers per thousand third gear 12 miles per hour 19 per thousand and so on notice obviously top speed is limited in sixth to 157 miles per hour 252 kilometers can be removed up with a, a reflash i believe um, but these are GBS uh, speeds, so say for instance on my Speedo, 4000 revs in top, Speedo shows about 71, 72. It's altered a bit with that Avon I've got on the back, which I, I mentioned earlier, and I may mention again. 
So I'm just going to leave that chart with you just for a couple of seconds, just so you can refer back to it. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope it's been useful. Till next time, bye.